So for NO2 minus, um, to find the resonance, we'll need a Lewis structure. So I just listed the valence electrons for both of these, and they'll be 17. And then since it has a negative one charge, um, that means there's an extra electron, so we add one, and then we get 18. So for NO2, what you usually want to do for Lewis structures is put the least electronegative atom in the middle, and then surround it with your other atoms. So in this case, N would be um, less electronegative than oxygen. So you put it in the middle, you put two oxygens, and then just try to use these electrons to find the most stable arrangement. And this way, when you have it like this, um, you have a zero charge on oxygen, zero charge on nitrogen, and a negative charge on O. Um, and so that, that satisfies all the criteria. We have octets everywhere, two, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. Everything has an octet. Uh, it has the same number of electrons and has a negative charge on an electronegative atom. So it matches all the um, criteria for a stable structure. Now for resonance, all we want to do is try to find another um, another structure that's just as stable. So for whenever any time you want to do this, you usually want to look for lone pairs or double bonds. And in this case, we have both. What that means is usually making a lone pair into a double bond and making a double bond into a lone pair. So let's try that. So when I when I do that, when I make this when I make this um, lone pair into a double bond and this double bond into a lone pair, uh, we end up getting a negative charge on this oxygen and a formal charge of zero on both of these. So this matches this in terms of charges, um, uh, in terms of octet. So everything matches. Both of these are stable, and therefore both are good resonance structures. So, um, yeah, the key thing is if you have lone pairs and dull bonds, uh, usually you're going to interconvert between them. And then you can try out, like, like for example, if you didn't remove this dull bond, right? If you just put in, um, if you just made a double bond, here, double bond here and kept the double bond, what would happen? Well, you'd actually end up breaking the octet rule because two, four, six, eight. If you added a double bond without removing one, you'd end up breaking it. And so you can just like experiment uh, with these and see why um, something's not a good structure or not. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.